What's up guys, this is Anthony from Hawkeye Rides. I'm here today at Land Rover St. Petersburg, Florida. Tanner has given us the 2021 Land Rover Discovery Sport R-Dynamic SE all-wheel drive. There's a light refresh to the exterior and on the interior. It's a distinctive appearance, rugged off-road capabilities embedded in this, powered by a 2.0 liter I-4 turbocharged, pushing 246 horsepower, 269 pound-feet of torque, paired to a ZF eight-speed automatic transmission, achieving a zero to 60 in the low sevens. Top speed, 140 miles per hour in the Byron. Blue exterior, getting 19 to 23 MPGs. We're gonna go over all the specs and details, starting now. Land Rover has updated the front, but has given a nice touch of that update. LED daylight running and headlamp. High gloss, black polished grille. Integrated in it, the British inspired racing green Land Rover, the Discovery badging in the front, and I like how the hood clips into the grille, giving an elegant stance. Weighting in water at 23.6 inches. Functional side vents right through here. Now cool off those tires if you're gonna try to go over 60 miles per hour. You're gonna have some vents in the front and also in here to cool down that big I-4 turbocharged engine. What I like most about this particular vehicle is you get an expensive look with a mid-size SUV price tag. Off-road capabilities, your approach angle in the front is at 23 degrees. Your departure angle is at 28 degrees. Terrain response to electric stability control with roll stability control. Ground clearance is also impressive at 8.3 inches. So even though you have a little bit of things going on here, none of the aesthetics is gonna affect that with the height of 68 inches and a width of 75 inches. A versatile compact SUV with 21 inch five spoke dark gray wheels with diamond tone finishers. The disc are ventilated, the front is gonna be reading at 13.7 inches. The rear is gonna be at 12.8 inches. You're gonna have a front strut suspension, a multi-link rear suspension. Your front and rear will have a coil springs, stabilizer bar, axle ratio at 4.54. All-wheel drive system is gonna place torque between the front and the rear wheels. This is going to optimize the traction and give you more of a confident drive, whether you're on-road or off-road. A flat roof design structure gives that classic, elegant stance for the Land Rover, so you know exactly what you're looking at. Add the dynamic package, you're gonna receive a configurable dynamic adaptive dynamics with red brake calipers, which this one doesn't have. The length at 181 inches. The wheelbase is gonna be 107.9 inches. I do like the line structures in the side segment. I do not like how the R-Dynamic badging is so low and so small. I wish it was a little bit bigger. Somewhere else put it, so that way you can actually see it. I don't necessarily like the Land Rover badging here on the side because I just don't like too many badges on the side. You need clean lines and good proportions. I do like the fit with the Discovery because the line flows, making a seamless line over your door handles, blacked out all over on the top and wrap around to your LED taillights. And I like how it stays clean and centering the license plate. So it does look like everything is placed where it needs to be. The roof spoiler, because of the flat roof design, gives a nice luxury look, however, this here should be tucked underneath it because of that luxury flair that they're adding. I don't like these reflectors because when you open up the tailgate, you can see them. They should have just added a little bit more plastic. Front and rear parking sensors, 360 degree reverse camera. You do have a diffuser. Blacked out exhaust tips with your exhaust tucked underneath. Towing up to 1,651 pounds. Power tailgate going inside to your cargo at 28 cubic feet. Storage underneath the floor with a spare tire, side storage, a 12 volt charger. You can opt for a third row, which would add air vents to it. And that's also why you have a 12 volt charger. Put the rear seats down at a 60-40 split. Maxing the cargo to 56 cubic feet. 
the Land Rover Discovery Sport SE comes standard with your S trim. Adds bigger wheels, which we have even more bigger because this is the wheel package. Premium LED lights, added interior features, make this a seven seater, like I was saying in the back for the family pack, they'll add a fixed interior rear view mirror. That's a camera basically. You'll also have a fixed panoramic moonroof, which we have in this because we got the technology package. The new Disco, you can craft it the way you want. Is the powertrain enough for a daily use SUV? Is this Land Rover a practical used vehicle? Let me know in the comments what you think about the 2021 Land Rover Discovery Sport SE R Dynamic as we go into the interior, go over the tech, and take this for our test run. Entering inside this Land Rover Discovery SE R Dynamic, you're gonna get 39.5 inches of headroom, 39.1 inches of lead room, ebony with red stitching, Windsor leather bucket front seats with 14-way power adjustments that's gonna include lumbar support and memory for the driver. British-inspired luxury with soft touch materials throughout the cabin, even on the dash. I like how the air vents are integrated in the dashboard. I just wish that they were a little bit bigger, and I do like the aluminum, and then this new integrated 10-inch Pivi Pro infotainment screen. This was launched in 2020 from Land Rover Defender. You have your navigation, so you have your pinch, you have your swipe. You have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Sirius XM, HD radio, Bluetooth connectivity, dual climate control, multi-function buttons. So when I push this, it's for my heated and ventilated seats. When I push on the climate control, I could turn it up and down or I could just use it as automatic. When I go on the other side, same thing, but I can also do the terrain response on that knob, which we'll go into a little bit later. You have your wireless charger underneath here, tucked away. I do like that with a USB port. I do like the ZF shifter. I just wish there was something Maybe a little bit more. The Land Rover badging looks nice. And the metal aluminum look looks pretty good. Cup holders, you can fit a 16.9 ounce water bottle. You could probably fit about a 32 ounce cup, no problems. Opening up in here to another couple USBs and a 12 volt. You can also remove the cup holders for more storage space. You can also cover them with the cover that's provided. So you do have a lot of versatility inside here. Updated leather wrapped steering wheel, perforated leather in the interior, multi-function, bigger paddle shifters, which I do like that. And now I'm looking at a 12.3 interactive driver display that includes a full 3D navigation, which they did not have that in 2020. Now you also have the heads up display as well. So I do like that we have all these luxury amenities on the rear view mirror. I can flip it down and it's a digital camera. So I like that as well for the elbows, soft on both sides. Going onto the door panel, starting off with the British bass Meridian sound system. And this is 400 watts and 12 speakers. Insane. I like that they got the metal inside and the contrast stitching is a nice touch and also on the grab handle. Storage, you can fit probably four or five 16.9 ounce water bottles, which is super efficient for the size of this vehicle. Let's see what the back seats look like. For the back seats, I'm at 38.7 inches of headroom, 38.1 inches of legroom. So it's pretty efficient for the size of the vehicle. Yet again, you can fit, the floor isn't completely flat. It's gonna look like it'll be relatively okay for me to fit in the center, but we'll see. Here you're gonna have another storage inside. Cup holders, you can fit 16.9 ounce water bottle. 20 ounces is gonna be a little bit more snug. You're gonna have some charging ports, an area here for your small cell phone, air vents. You could turn the heat or the cool on. You have storage behind both of the seats. You can fit your clothes if you're in business class or you need to change clothes because it's just too hot in Florida. For the elbows, soft on both sides. Door panel, the Meridian sound system comes back into it with the nice aluminum and the contrast stitching and on the grab handle. Storage, you can fit about three to four 16.9 ounce water bottles. Let's see how I look in the center. Sitting into the center, I do protrude up just a little bit. Headroom is still good. Leg room is still good because the floor isn't completely flat. Sharing my feet and my legs and my shoulders with the occupants next to me. However, you could fit three adults my size without too many complications. Another nice thing about this discovery, if you opt for the five seater, you can move this all the way up and you can move it all the way back. You can also recline the seats pretty far back as well and you wouldn't be bothering anybody in the third row. Going over the Pivi Pro, we're gonna click on the navigation so you can see how it looks. Click onto the home button, click these icons here on the center. You can see all the features in which we have. Here's that waiting sensing feature, which is a really cool thing because this actually will tell you how deep and how much water is being implemented in the vehicle. So you can see and it'll tell you exactly when to stop. 
click back into the home, click into your vehicle dimensions. This is really intuitive because it tells you for parking garage purposes and it just helps you out, especially whenever you're moving the dynamics of the suspension. You do have the new air purification filtration system here and it will tell you when it is bad or when it is good so you can change the filtration in your Land Rover. Now we'll click into our terrain response and this is pretty intuitive. It will go over here so you can see everything on the driver cluster. Some nice little pictures in the back whenever you're changing the modes in the vehicle. The full navigation. Taking this Land Rover Discovery out. If you're wearing polarized glasses, just has a heads up. You will not see the heads up display and that's pretty much with any heads up display. And I try to say it on all the reviews so you know. Driving the vehicle, it seems pretty smooth for the most, most part so far. I have it set on automatic, so it will adjust the suspension for me as I drive. The rear view camera, it's a little closer than I would like. I do like the feel of the gas pedal though. When I push it, I do actually go somewhere. And that was something that I was concerned because of the size of this vehicle being under 250 horsepower and it's a turbocharged, usually you're gonna have some lag. But it seems like they've taken care of that and it also kind of drifts for you when you let off the gas. So I do like that because it holds the RPM. So that way the turbo is already spooled up and it stays and hovers around a 1500 RPM and you see the collision warning, and I wasn't even close to the vehicle. So it shows you the safety that the vehicles are embedded with. I do like these functionalities because people are typically on their cell phone, they're not paying attention to the road, they don't see anything. These alert systems and safety features that are in the front and the rear really do help out. At the beginning when you push the gas pedal, it does have a touch of hesitation, but like I said, once you get to around 1700 to 2 RPM, it seems to be very pleasant and easy. I do like the dynamics in that perspective, and I feel the ride is pretty, pretty nice. I mean, even with these upgraded tires, you do hear some of the noise through the wheel wells, and that's predominantly because of the size of the tire but you don't really feel that much of the impurities in the road unless you're going at a lower speed. If you're going at a higher speed, it seems to filter it a little bit better. And as for wind noise around the car, there's no dual pane windows. There isn't really much dynamics in the sense of turning. So take the cornering a little bit slow and easy with this because it's not something that's sport, even though it's listed as a discovery sport. The functionality to see around everything. I could see pretty much just to the second row. I can't necessarily see to the seats. So you will be using the blind spot monitoring system quite a bit if you are in traffic or congested areas. But for the most part, I mean, it does a good job at what it needs to do. Braking on the car, ever so good. You don't really have to worry too much on that. I'm gonna give it some gas to see how well she performs. Little hesitation, gets up to gear seems to be doing what it needs to do. Transition isn't flawless, but it is pretty smooth and seamless. So I do like that. And the fact that I feel like I'm not really moving too much in the road. It just seems pretty airtight. The dynamics seem to be, it's a bit boaty, but it doesn't seem like that when you're coming off a straight line. It seems like it's pretty airtight. As for the steering feel, it it's a little loose, not too much play, so I do like that. It is an off-roading vehicle, so you're gonna tend to have a touch of you know, looseness in it, but for the most part, it turns really well. The three things that I will say that I like and three things that I dislike is anything more than that and I would own the car, is I don't like this rear view camera. It's just positioned wrong. Maybe they should have positioned it a little bit lower or something, I don't know. But it's one thing I don't like. I don't like the air vents because they're not large enough. They do produce a lot of cool air. It just, if it was larger, it would make the car cooler faster. And the dash, I wish this dash had a little bit more pizzazz because the sticker on this car is nearly $60,000. Now, MSRP starts around your mid $40,000. However, it's still a lot of money to just have a flat dash. Turn radius in the vehicle at a stop point, you're going to be getting about two and a half lanes. And the three things that I like about the vehicle is the fact that it's a Land Rover. You have the essence and the beauty of what it is. It just looks really nice and refined on the exterior. The interior looks pretty pleasant as well. Second thing that I like about the vehicle is these touch control knobs. 
The reason why I like them is because it's not like an airplane. You really will know what to touch and you'll learn relatively quickly, probably within the same day that you buy the vehicle. So it really does work and it is something that's easy to use and operate. And another thing that I like about the vehicle is the seat comfort, it's spot on. I mean, I don't feel any impurities. You can hear it and you can kind of feel it, but for the most part, the cushions are pretty good. The side part of the cushions don't necessarily hold you so much, but you can also contour that to make it more tight for you, to make it more of a sporty feel. So I do like those functionalities. As for the height of the vehicle, you do sit up pretty good so you can see pretty much everything that you need. And for a daily practical use, yes, I think this could be something very useful and practical, especially considering that this is a mid-size SUV. We're gonna take this back to Land Rover St. Petersburg, Florida, go over the reverse camera and wrap this review up. Switching to reverse, you do have trajectory and sensor functionality all over the vehicle. It is a really clean screen. You can also click on your off-roading so you can change the dynamics, the way it looks, and it'll also show you the way your tires are pivoted and what gear you're in. So when you put it into drive, you'll see that as well. And then you can also opt for the front camera here, so you can see a front view camera whenever you're doing any off-roading activities. I'd like to thank Tanner here at Land Rover St. Petersburg, Florida for giving us this 2021 Land Rover Discovery SE R Dynamic for our car review. If you're already a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Hawkeye community. If not, click that subscribe button, check out the details, the merchandise, and everything we do here at Hawkeye Rocks.